Hi there, just a quick instructional video of how to use HDMI viewer to display anything from your iOS device, iPad, iPhone, onto the Pilot Digital Podium. So the first step you wanna do is take your phone or your tablet and place it into the lightning port. Make sure it's nice and snug, push down until you see that the battery is charging and that confirms that it is connected. Next, you wanna select the lightning in button, showing that now that the lightning port that your device is plugged into is running on the system. Go over to HDMI viewer. It's the icon with the white square in the red HDMI button. Should be on your desktop. Just double click, it'll open up and display your device. Sometimes if you have any security on your device, You'll need to type in your password, but other than, otherwise it should load. So now you can annotate over your device, just like that, and use all the functions that you would be able to use um, with our annotation suite. Also, for instance, if you'd like to play a video, such as this one, you can easily go into full screen, and it will automatically rotate it for you so you don't have to worry about it being lopsided. So that's how you use HDMI viewer on the Hovercam Pilot. Thanks. Bailey? Oh, can I ask you one question, sure. sir? What about the other HDMI connections on the side? How yeah, do you if you wanna plug in uh, any other device, like a Chromebook, a MacBook, a PC notebook, our Hovercam Pilots come with all the uh, ports needed. You're gonna to wanna to plug it into the HDMI port we have one here and one there. And you can also install the uh, laptop case or the, la the laptop uh, tray onto the side and place your laptop here and go interface with either of these buttons for HDMI port number one or HDMI port number two. And that's how you switch between all of your devices that are connected to your Hovercam pilot. Great, and the important message here is that the HDMI viewer must be active in order to switch sources. That's right, that's right. Just make sure you have your HDMI viewer uh, application uh, just up and running and you should be good. Thank you, Bailey. My pleasure.